Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Cult of Mac here, and I recently noticed that one of our most popular videos ever is how to speed up your Mac. Well, that video is now over five years old, which means it's time for a new update with new speed boosting tips. Let's get started. My first tip is one you would think is pretty obvious, but I find myself guilty of this time and time again, and it's to remove unused apps. If you're anything like me, you'll have at least two or three apps on your Mac which you've not opened since downloading, and they're just not needed. Drag any unwanted applications into the trash, or use an app such as App Zapper to ensure you remove all associated files to the apps. Another obvious one is to restart your Mac. Because Macs are so power efficient and stable, a lot of the time we don't even think about restarting or shutting them down. We just leave them turned on all the time, so they're ready to go when we need them. But regularly restarting your Mac speeds up your computer by shutting down applications and clearing caches. Next up is to check your preference panes. Open system preferences and check the bottom row. As you can see in mine, I've only got three custom items that have been added to my system preferences. But when installing drivers for different products, this can become full pretty quickly, and if you're not using them, they're taking up space. Right click on any items you don't need and choose remove from preference pane. Finder is awesome, especially in El Capitan. You can find pretty much anything you need in seconds. But there's just one problem. Whenever you open a new finder window, what shows up? All my files. All of them. If you've got a lot of files, especially videos and photos as I do, this can slow your Mac down by trying to generate previews for all of those files. To save time and speed up your Mac, choose which folder is displayed when you open a new finder window. Head to Finder Preferences and under the General tab, use the drop down menu to choose a new folder to open on. Your web browser could be the culprit to sluggish speeds when browsing the web, especially if you use Chrome on your Mac. Try to minimise the number of browser extensions you use and have fewer tabs open at once to save CPU and memory. If you're using Safari, make sure to clear your cache every now and then. Go to Safari, then Preferences and click on the Advanced tab. Choose Show Develop menu in bar, and now that it is active, go to Develop and clear cache. If you're using an older Mac that is still supporting one of the latest OS X versions such as El Capitan, it may feel slower than before you got the latest update. This could be due to your Mac struggling to keep up with how beautifully animated OS X is. To disable those animations and make your Mac feel snappier, go to System Preferences, Dock and untick checkboxes for magnification, Minimize windows into application icon, animate opening apps, hide and show dock, and change the minimize windows from Genie to Scale. Also, reducing transparency in your dock and finder can help speed up older Macs. To do this, go to System Preferences, Accessibility, and check Reduce Transparency. As well as speeding up your Mac, resetting your system management controller can fix startup issues and Wi-Fi hardware problems. This won't delete any of your data, but it will perform a lower level reboot of your Mac. To reset your SMC, ensure any MacBooks with non-removable batteries are plugged into a power source. If your MacBook has a removable battery, Google the steps as they're slightly different. Close all of the applications, then press and hold Control, Shift, Option and Power for two seconds. Release the keys, then power on your MacBook. If you're using a Mac Pro, Mini or iMac, reset your SMC by simply shutting down and unplug from the wall. Wait 15 seconds, plug it back in and turn it on. Simple. My final tip is to stay up to date. A lot of recent OS X updates have been less of a design overhaul and more performance updates, increasing battery life for MacBooks and performance all around. You can turn on automatic updates by going to System Preferences, App Store, then check the tick box for automatically check and install OS X updates. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully your Mac is speedier than ever, but if you need five more great tips to speed up your Mac, I'll leave a link to the previous video in the description down below. But if you found this video useful, go ahead and smash that like button as it really does help us out. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.